This is the unboxing review for the 3M Spackling Compound and I'll show you exactly how it works. In the box we'll get our 12 ounce tub of our spackling compound and a putty knife. And on the base you can find the instructions, you can pause the video if you'd like to read it. To open the tub just fold back the perforated edge and this is how the spackling compound looks. It's like um, mostly blue but a little bit of white. You can see a little bit of white coming through and here's the consistency. It's soft and chalky. So this is the hole that I have to repair. It's a half of an inch so I'm going to be using my putty knife to remove the excess debris and I'll be using an 80 grit sanding paper just to make sure that the surface is smooth. The sanding paper is not included in the package, but it's recommended. So now that the area is nice and smooth, it's time to do my repairs. And I'll just take a small amount of my compound onto my putty knife and I'm just pressing it in, making sure that it's well packed. And then I'll just smooth over the area. So the compound applied blue and it will turn white when it's dry. Just make sure to secure the rest of your compound tightly with the lid and clean off your putty knife so you can have it for further use. Now my compound is dry. It took about six hours for it to be fully dry. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint. My wall is rough, so I didn't need to sand it again. But if you have a smooth wall, you wanna go ahead and smooth it out with your sanding paper before you paint it. So I was using the wrong shade of paint, so I allowed it to dry and then I went over it with the correct shade. So I allowed my paint to dry and this is where the damage was. It's hard for you to detect where it was. So I'm very impressed. The spackling compound works very well.